Greetings fellow travelers, it's T5 the Traveler with Becky the Trekkie here. We are at Carowinds where the Carolinas meet. Can not tell you if I'm in North Carolina or South Carolina right now, but we're definitely in one of the two. We're gonna bring you up in Windseeker. That's gonna be the next one. That one takes you up about 300 feet uh, or so in the sky. Uh, supposed to be a nice view of the park. We'll get up there, we'll bring you a point of view with us. I'll kind of show you what I remember and what I know about the park, what I think of the park while we're up there. So it's kind of like a good uh, uh, learn in the park uh, video, we'll call it. And then we'll see what it looks like uh, from up in the sky. Speaking of up in the sky, we went with our DC gear today. Uh, Sinestra over here on the right, and I guess I'm gonna be the super kid. I got old, but I still feel like a kid at heart. So uh, I'll just be the super kid in well, Sinestra today. Uh, today's actually my birthday, so if you want to wish me a happy birthday in the comments on this one, uh, if you watched it, I uh, would appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you when we get up in the skies. Let's go. You can have the inside track. I don't like staring it down at the concrete as much as you do. I usually look up and out at the sky. That doesn't freak me out. But when they lean you down towards the old uh, pavement, it's not my fave. 300 feet in the air. But I'm more comfy on these than the ones on the chains, I gotta say. Oh, this is Those things nice. freak me out. It's our usual theme park uh, gear for walking around tours. We try to... <coughs> oh, hands up. Thanks. Thank you, Carmen. That was Carmen, everyone. There, there we go. Well, into music. Oh, they got music on this one, huh? What do you mean? Okay, up, up we go. So this is Kitty Hawk ahead of us. This is the, the blue one. It's the smaller uh, suspended. Really, Afterburn is one of the ones. Afterburner. It's got still still has some of that Paramount theming. So I guess uh, Nighthawk used to be the Borg ride for Star Trek. So that's uh, that's interesting. If you've never been on it and you like roller coasters, ride it at least once. You see them down there on their backs. And oh boy, they got a nice mine train ride here. That's Copperhead Strike over the right. That's Afterburner. That's Intimidator, the red one. And then Fury 325 is the big tall one in the background there. And that's the one that's down. You've got the Hurler is the wood one in the background we'll, we'll talk about the other two when we come back around we went around too fast um below us like i say that's a kitty hawk and then that's vortex down there the orange one the, the faded paint that's not open just yet the uh cobra ride is the uh, boomerang ride it's the lighter blue that's woodstock express if you can see it way back in the back of uh camp snoopy they've got the woodstock express and then that is the uh Carolina, uh, what is it? The Carolina Hurricane that's got the uh, multiple inversions. Uh, it's the other blue one, kind of the turquoise or the aquamarine over there uh, to the right. You've got the water park over in the distance. They got several uh, slides. They do have the big wave pool. It's, it's about hot enough to be in the wave pool. There's the parking lot over there. It's about half capacity today, so not too bad. Uh, most of the rides are up. Uh, the exception, of course, is going to be Fury 325 and the Vortex as far as the premier rides. I've seen almost everything in Aeronautica Land running except for two. And I'm not sure if that's because it's just brand new. Like that one is the, the spinner room down there. I haven't seen that one go. And then the Graviton Tron type also I have not seen run. But other than that, everything seems to be uh, in good running and... Uh, working order in the park if you want to get shot like a slingshot that's the uh the big slingshot machine right there they'll hook you in it and then you can uh fly what what's the name of the one that uh the yellow one in the distance there becky that just spins and spins and spins upside down you remember oh, it's like insanity or something like that uh spin sanity let us know oh and they do have the scream zone drop tower in the distance so we haven't done that yet We'll have to go uh, on the Scream Zone drop tower at least one time. So they had an identical drop tower ride to that at, uh, what was it, Six Flags St. Louis. It was yeah. the Superman one, and we went on it. It was terrifying. And I think this is a clone, basically, of that ride. And they pretty much have taken out, like, uh, almost all of that, that of that type of yeah. uh, drop tower for whatever reason. I think it's because it has, like, the, the, the counterbalance cable... Uh, weights and then the risk factor on those styles seems to be a little bit more than the air-powered 
uh, ones. So they're really like the ones we prefer, the full circle seat. Uh, that was right. You know, the big one. We had a great ride. SKT. Very, At this time, very you scenic. Your and uh, uh, That's yeah, it's a good way to get to know the park. But the if you don't know what you're looking at, I guess, or you want to get your bearings, really, it's not a bad one if the sky tower is not up. So we'll have to do the sky tower, and that'll be a similar one, but it won't be rapid fire. You know, spinning in the background. Uh, so we might have a little more time to talk about the park on that video. So if you're in it for the, the full haul and want to get the total coverage of the park with us, uh, Sky Tower will probably be another one. As long as it's... I say that and watch, it'll be it'll be shut down. <laughs> we won't get on it. No, hopefully not. So, okay. I had a good... I had a good... All right, the Windseeker. So, uh, what'd you think of uh, the Windseeker at Carowinds here? Yeah, always a fun type of ride. You get to see everything off in the distance, get to see a good view of the park. So, yeah, always enjoy it. So, when you're in that inside seat, do you look down at the pavement when you're there, or you just like try no, not to pay attention? To I it? just look at the outside. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'll look down. Does but... being up high bother you at all, or no? Not really. No. Okay, so for me, like, up there vlogging and all that good stuff uh, I'm a little bit distracted and then every once in a while I'd like do a little jump on and realize like I'm way way high up in the air and it's just like one of those things so uh, yeah I had a uh, I had a great ride on it they're all very similar you know uh, similar style and uh, it just kind of depends on uh, the ride operators how they run the ride sometimes they're like really hardcore on like policing the cell phones on those rides they have like little mirrors at the bottom and they look up and they're like put your phone away but none of that on here I gotta say the staff is like super nice and uh, we've really enjoyed the staff here a lot there's a uh, Nighthawk flying by right there and uh, it's been a great it's been a great time so uh, that one uh, I don't know if it's my absolute favorite. The one with the Star Trek music was probably the best. Yeah. You know, it took off and had like the Star Trek thing. We like Star Trek. So anyway, if you stuck with us this long and you enjoy these videos, uh, consider subscribing if you haven't. If you are already subscribed, uh, thank you, uh, fellow traveler out there. You'll see us in a lot more videos out soon. And uh, we'll see you on the next uh, ride and review. Bye, everybody.